Today, we're going to once and for all answer the question, what exactly is an NFT? Is it a bird? Is it a ladybug? Is it the twist that everybody's talking about in the new Spider-Man movie? No, an NFT stands for a non-fungible token. What? Fungibility refers to whether or not something is uniquely identifiable. In terms that helped me understand, let's take a dollar bill. These are fungible because one bill is interchangeable for the other. You can go to the dollar store and buy anything you want, whether that's with my dollar bill or your dollar bill. The key word here is that they are interchangeable. Non-fungible is the opposite. A good example are dogs. Oh, isn't he so cute? Such a good boy, good boy. Dogs are non-fungible because your dog is not the same as my dog. Even if they are of the same breed, the same gender, and the same age from the same shelter that we saved them from, they are not interchangeable. I mean, look at him. How could he be so cute? Now, you're probably thinking, how do NFTs have anything to do with the art that you see everywhere being described as NFTs? Well, nothing, really. That's kind of the point. Of course. NFTs have nothing to do with art. I don't really understand what's going on. They are, however, related to the blockchain, the only word more annoying than the word COVID at the moment. But don't worry, you don't need to understand how the blockchain works to understand NFTs. All you need to understand is that a blockchain produces an ID for your NFT that cannot be altered or changed. How that works doesn't matter for now, just believe me. Consider me a magician. <laughs> Once the code is then minted as a token that lives on the blockchain, which is not fungible. Okay, I'm getting confused again, so let's sum it up. One. NFTs are not interchangeable. They're more like your dog than a dollar bill. Two, they are created on a blockchain, like Solana. Three, it is a series of numbers and letters that make up a code, which you can attach digitally to anything, including art. Did this help? We certainly hope so. Make sure to follow Marco Polo on Twitter for the latest updates.